dummy. <laughs> do anything you've had. Google like what? Everything Apple let you do. Thank no, nah, you tell me. <laughs> There's the show ain't up. <laughs> Apple didn't let me put it up. Right. <laughs> Even though I ain't put it up there. Especially on the YouTube. That's because it was on Why iTunes. it ain't on the YouTube? Apple and Apple, 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 didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Apple G boss. <laughs> what about the sound, Dad? See? Apple. What you was listening to it on? Apple. Apple. I see. Apple. See Apple. Yeah. <laughs> the configurations on your Apple set. Androids make you. You can change people's voice while you listen. I, I tell you what you do. Go to go to the settings. You got to go to the settings in your Apple iPhone and switch it to Google. Apple don't let you do that. I mean, I mean, I forgot you got that Apple. I for- <laughs> Apple don't let you do that. that that's how you, Apple don't let you do that. <laughs> if Apple create a Google set It's going to be because of Dez Hey Dez Why our lower thirds ain't in the corner I, Apple didn't let me put it up there mm-hmm. On YouTube <laughs> They're conspiring against the dummies Dez 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 what up <laughs> Apple didn't let them come yeah, Apple kept <laughs> Apple said no Apple said stay away <laughs> Apple said you had one good week Now you got to go <laughs> <laughs> My boy had a- <laughs> My boy played his heart out last week, didn't he? Uh, he's still tired. He's still tired. <laughs> you know how you be tired after a game? <laughs> he's dummy, sore. Dummy, his dummy. jaw sore and shit. Uh, now he was like, man, damn. <sighs> Joe get to talk back. Anyway, uh, I ain't never communicated that much in my life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ty, you had your little jokes last week, man. <laughs> Time to fire back at you. Get that nigga. I tried to stop him. <laughs> I, tr- I tried there. to stop him, but he, you know, you gotta let people do what they want to do. You I know? got some questions for you, but you're not here to answer them. So I ain't worried <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> oh, we got, he, we got him here. Oh, he yeah. here. He gonna say as much as he normally says. Yeah. We all. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 I know you know. Like, it, you can't talk that shit like you did last week and then miss. Yeah, man. This nigga down. gonna tear your ass immediately up. after. Nigga. <laughs> Text us the morning of. Nigga, we you know he don't win. like to be talked about when he ain't here. We knew. We Y'all win. ain't got shit else to talk about but me. Yep. <laughs> Just like now, you see how it go. Right. You ain't had nothing to talk about but us when we were gone. <laughs> you missed us. I get it, man. That's all. So now you get it. When you're not here, and we talk about it, it's a sign we miss you. Big ass little boy. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. You're tuning in to the Dummies Podcast. I'm Stop. I'm Joe. I'm Hootie, nigga. And uh, we back like we never left because, like we said, every week we never leave. It's episode 131. Yes, 131 episodes, man. Uh, feeling good, feeling great. It is Mother's Day, man. Uh, shouts out. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that are out there, man. Uh, as always, shout out to all the people on the front lines who battling the pandemic. Uh, we do see numbers are going down. I saw that COVID deaths, uh, the death rate is down about 80% already. Uh, mm-hmm. Hospitalizations are down. Travel is up. Um, so everything looking good, man. Keep everybody, you know, do your part. Practice social distance. If you're going to get your vaccination, do your thing on that. Um, where we at with it, Hoop? Now that the mask mandate has been lifted, can places still require that you wear masks mask in their uh, establishment? I bet. I think they can because they're private. Mm. So, like, a private company can still do what they please, I, I would assume. Because I saw some last night. Some was like mask preferred. Mask you have to have or mask mandatory, like at Jenny's. I think. I think it'd be no different than like somebody having a dress code, ain't it? For like you know their establishment. I think uh, I, I did see that mask preferred for the first time, but uh, I want to. But I want to say Birmingham is still supposed to be under mask order. I thought it was. Oh, the mayor, uh, the governor said it's gone, but then the mayor yeah. said it's still. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, shit. Some people have it, some people don't. Um, I'm all for it. No, I'm saying I'm still going with my mask, and that's pretty dope. Um. Week, man, week was good, man. I'm sorry I missed last week, man. I gave my boys a heads up about a month ago I was going to miss, but then I was going to try to make it back. Had too much fun at the crib with the parents and the family. Just wasn't able to make it back. So I apologize to y'all people, but fuck y'all. I needed to break it. Um, <laughs> the week was cool, though, man. I got to go home and see the family, man. Most importantly, man, my wife got to go and really see and touch her mom, you know what I'm saying? For the first time, that's like extra dope. So, she, so that shit that was pretty dope. And just seeing it and talking to her, and, and seeing how she looked youthful again and refreshed, and that shit just was was positive. And also seeing my mama, man, my mama maniac. She been out here partying the whole time, throwing parties, <laughs> having parties. Step pop said, "Fuck that vaccine, they gonna get y'all." He one of them. Yeah. <laughs> they gonna trick y'all niggas. My mama got it, but he don't. So that's <laughs> that's some crazy ass shit in the house, all right there. But man, it was fun, man. Just being around family and having that that good time. You know what I'm saying, actually going home and getting to work with some family too. You know what I'm saying, took some photos, some graduation photos for one of my cousins from grad school. Congratulations to you and my aunt, 45th birthday. Uh, happy Happy Mother's Day to my aunts, who's 45th birthday. You know what I'm saying as well. Uh, Auntie Carlis, I, I wish I could call her. She crazy than my mama. 
Uh, but it was cool, man. Good week, working week, busy week, even still. I thought, even though I was off, it was good, man. How was your okay, Gary? Oh, uh, good week. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Uh, happy Mother's Day. I was rude for that too, for all of the mothers. My bad. <laughs> My bad. They just wish his auntie. You're right. Uh, right. Then right. you say his mama. Right. Yeah. Happy, happy Mother's Day, auntie. Right. <laughs> My bad, mama. That nigga and so my wife. Crazy. I'm sorry. That nigga's so crazy. <laughs> but besides that, it was uh, it was just a cool week for real. What about you, stock? But your week's getting <laughs> nigga, we, it was a cool week, like breezy outside. <laughs> I'm saving, I'm saving my time. I ain't got to die. Okay. You gonna you go uh, hold it? You, you gonna yeah. hold it down on the next one? <laughs> uh, it was a dope week, man. Um, had some little phone issues. Uh, it sucked, man. When you had to go any amount of time without your phone, I, like I was it. like four five hours without that shit. That shit felt you mean weird. Like your, your screen cracked and you had to you didn't want to rub your fingers against it like no no no, no, no. I ain't had it. Okay. I had the uh, you know like a Nintendo cartridge. It was like just two lines. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, and and so they you know it, I could still see. I just, you know, that ain't how it's supposed to be. But, you know, they gave me a free phone because it was under warranty. And I don't know what happened. I woke up one morning and it just looked like that. Mm, just woke up and it looked like that. And they gave me, you know. Sound like one of them nights you drunk yourself sober. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on one of them things, I knew what happened to it. And I, that, that just was convenient. Yeah, um, which so we, which one they end up giving you, though? Because, you know, we had that conversation. They just upgraded to the, to the next one. I mean, not the next one. They just the gave me the, one. they replaced it. Okay. So they gave me the same one. Just Oh, the same phone. Okay. Yeah, okay. a new one. Um. Man, I, I was talking. Man, you ever know in your home, but miss you? Yeah. Just make it here. Because, look, <laughs> I was talking on the phone to Hooter, right? And, like, we, you know what I'm saying? We was talking what, you know, we had to say, and then we hung up. This nigga called back, like, two minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a polite hey, nigga, man. Hey, look, he came. He ain't going to tell you why. He ain't going to tell you why. He called back. He was like, hey. Fuck you up. Nigga said I want to finish talking. Like, I thought we was done, goddamn. You know, the dummy. fuck you want to talk about? You know that ain't going to go like that. Yes, it did. No. How it went. Okay. He, he, he missed some we, we, stuff. You know he always going to miss some shit that, that well, benefits him. I swear him. to God, bro. All right, so we was on the phone talking. Then the girl called me. I was like, man, get the fuck off my phone. They trying to get Warren called. Now he tough. You know what I'm saying? Because can't get right now. Okay. I'm talking so, to the phone. Okay, so when a nigga tell you get the fuck off your phone, right? Yeah. Okay, now go. Okay. And but as I did that, he was still talking, and I still banged it on him. You know what I'm saying? I still, he, I, <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? After I got done with my call, I called him back. I was like, "Hey man, I hung up in your face." You know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. What's up? Okay. <laughs> so you believe that version? It makes sense. <laughs> that make a little bit more sense to your brother. No, the fuck it don't. Yeah, man. That nigga called back. That nigga say, "Hey, nah, that, that make nigga, a lot more sense." That nigga ain't want. He ain't want me to leave while he talking, but I want to talk to I him. Said, no, <laughs> and then when I asked you, I said, "You missed me, down He said, "Shut the fuck up." Yeah, <laughs> hung up again. Yeah. Now he now he did hang up that second. <laughs> if I gotta pick between who to just calling you back and who to care, I'm gonna pick just who to just call you. My that nigga. nigga don't care about shit. My nigga. Yeah, you, you can't get to yeah. You just gotta justify yeah, your yeah, side. Yeah, yeah boy. My I nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, chill leader not here today. Yeah, we yeah. come back. I mean, it ain't gonna <laughs> go so easy today. Yeah. Who my chill leader? You know what I'm saying? Everything you said was right last week. Until <laughs> <laughs> he damn sure ain't man everything. He, right no, it's one thing he didn't. The amen. black college football. When black mm-hmm. college football, when Stock said, but doesn't Joe have a point? That nigga mm-hmm. looked at him and said, look, man, we Joe talking about Joe point. being wrong right now. We ain't got shit to talk about that. Don't, don't bring up that nigga being right about anything. Oh, I did want to say, um, uh, shouts out to our listenership, man. Uh, me and Dez was looking at some analytics this week. Uh, shouts yeah. out to Seattle, man. I don't know who's over there, but we up like 300% over there in that market. So whoever y'all are, man, shouts out to y'all, man. We really appreciate y'all. We, thank we, thank we, hey, let us know. We would love to come to Seattle and check y'all out, man, over there. So Y'all got some uh, interesting stuff to see. Yeah, and, and, I love it. It's supposed to have good beer. Yeah, so I, shouts out to them. Uh, our listenership overall is up good 60%. Seafood, so shouts out to y'all, man, you know, uh, on all the hard work, effort, Dez. Uh, can't get right Who the Todd You know what I'm saying For you know Keep being consistent And for our listeners Who's sharing it And uh, giving it to other people So I want to make sure I mention that Like share and subscribe Somebody told us We don't say that enough Like share and subscribe mm-hmm. Man y'all know What the hell y'all supposed to do You're supposed to like Share and subscribe But and you gotta comment. say it Sometimes you gotta say it They'll be like oh yeah Yeah you do gotta say it though I'm, I'm, I agree with that We don't say it enough At all um, I want to ask y'all Remember that uh, that time We was talking about Um if if we got rich or got money from here, who would change? Mm-hmm. I, I want to change my my answer. Okay, so who was your first answer? 
I think I, I think I was saying can't get right. So who you turning to? G boss. Oh, it's too late, nigga. G boss. <laughs> I, I want to change that shit that immediately. Up. You understand me? I tell that nigga calm down every day. Calm down, G man. My man been on a roll on that damn internet, ain't it? Boy, <laughs> if we, that hey, nigga stories be so small. You know, man, the little dots. Uh-huh. Hey, look, Ooh. let us get that nigga. Goddamn, uh, let that nigga get that first that real real check. Oh my mm-hmm. god, we might not see him no more. Y'all saying it's gonna be a nigga over that bitch like uh. When they changed the management, what move that temptations or whatever, mm. and then all of a sudden it was just a new manager over that bitch. Like, who the fuck is you? <laughs> oh, our dad told me that to get shit right happened, here. I'm, shit I'm, happened to Ray I'm too. De- de- I'm dead. De- what can I call? Me. Yeah, you got to talk to that nigga to talk to Dez. <laughs> My boy motivated. Dummy, dummy. The replacement. Yeah. <laughs> you call Dez phone the assistant, the, the guy you talking to. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what that nigga name was? The little light skinned nigga on that movie, man. Mm. Damn, I can't think of what it was. Mm-hmm. Nobody liked that nigga though. Red? That's all I remember. Red holding a nigga from his shoes. Nah. But yeah. <laughs> My office hours. <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely wanted to say. You is it, G Ball. That's unanimous right now today. Hey man, stop t- fucking with all damn uh, the, the sound effects. Push the shit and put it up. Oh. That nigga yesterday, uh, last week, uh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> shit, man, play them bitches and turn them up. God damn, them bitches are so low. Um, Young G Bow. Oh fuck, dummy. Where we at? Dummy. Um, <laughs> you fuck with you. That's the end of your week. Yo, so that, that, you what else? Get, what shit? Just like, your phone. That's all we heard about. That was it. Happy Mother's Day mm-hmm. to all the mothers out there. Um, I definitely said uh, I want to goddamn make some phone calls in lieu of Mother's Day and just see what happens. Mm-hmm. You know, um, our mothers be around. They do a lot. You know, what I'm saying they're responsible for putting that stuff. So I said, let's just call them and see what we can find out. But I also want to play a classic for start. Yeah, this is in lieu of Mother's Day. This one gonna cut deep. Yeah, on the way to get my music. In here. Let's go. Ain't no chickens in this round. I just wanna give time to my mother and you. No one needs it. All the hell that I put you through was only one person doing a job that was made for two. And daddy wanna know how, so you did what you had to do. But I can't stop, nigga. Life went all bad. Mama hustle hard, so I'm able to pop tax and I love her for it. With them flights and them shades, and I stay clean. She always smiled on the surface of my eyes. Let's call her and see what I can come up with. Hope she curse you out. Now Wayne, I got some Wayne verse was so live on that song. He don't play that part. You don't play Wayne. Oh, well, shit, I can only play a couple minutes. And since I come on first, perfect. <laughs> Fuck, I look like a DJ. Uh, <laughs> hey, Barbara Week. Hi. Hey, this is Mustaka. I'm calling from uh, the Content Factory in the Dummies Podcast. I'm with my podcast mates, and we want to call and wish you a happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Well, well, thank you. Thanks to all of you. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. Thank you, baby. Yeah. So, um, in lieu of Mother's Day, I told a story about you last week, and um, and now I want to ask about it. You remember the time you made me smoke a cigarette? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> now, what was the bright idea behind it? Well, you wanted to be grown. You wanted to try smoking, so I wanted you to see what smoking was about. <laughs> So yeah, I made this. you smoke a cigarette. <laughs> you were about to throw up, crying, <laughs> eyes watering. But guess what? You never smoked cigarette. No, that's that's a true story. That's facts. I never wanted that after that. I, I almost died that day. You know that. <laughs> and what's crazy? And I keep telling you, and I'm gonna maintain this story. I never even smoked a cigarette that time. I got put on punishment. You were smoking a cigarette because the principal told it. No, the principal. Because the principal I told you. Uh, see, you don't even know. I, I told you this. It was a cigarette butt, and I would puff it, and it was cold in Wisconsin, and I blew out air that made smoke. A butt, a cigarette butt is still a cigarette. <laughs> but it wasn't lit. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it never was either. <laughs> well, well, we ain't gonna hold you. We just wanted to call you and wish you a, a happy Mother's Day and uh, call you on the pub. Okay, thank you guys. You welcome. Love you. Welcome. you. Enjoy right, love you too. All right, bye. Bye bye. Yeah, man. See, I don't like that. What? I got punished and I wasn't smoking a cigarette. Nigga, the principal said it go. Yeah, I slap shit out that nigga if I can find him right about now. <laughs> it was something you did that you didn't get caught for, so you might as well just charge to the game. But, but shit that you know what it was? A cigarette, though? I, it was another little part I forgot. 
how my aunt she'll be like, go light my cigarette on the stove, and we'll oh yeah, you get your cup, yeah, get a little puff in. We used to think, hey, you hide behind that wall. <laughs> That's how I started uh, drinking beer. Be like, go get me a beer. I throw it away. It have it have about this much beer. I'm all hoop. But um, she'll call back eventually. Yeah, man, we just want to you know give love to all the mothers out there, man, for the job that they do, man, a tremendous job that they do. Uh, I say it all the time. A lot of the burden does fall, uh, and I don't even want to say burden. A lot of the work and effort does fall more on women um, than than sometimes men. So we need to make sure that we you know mm-hmm. salute them. Uh, happy Mother's Day to my wife. Uh, and my mom, you know, for the tremendous job that they do and uh, keeping the household and stuff together. So, shouts out to them. I do give y'all that because if it was just daddy, the house would be crazy. <laughs> if it was who the- <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> you want to jump off the roof? <laughs> just land soft. <laughs> you better land soft. All right, I'm going to try. I'm, I'm going to try. Give me a second. I Did you connect? To, I need to disconnect. Yeah, yeah. Hooter, That's the way it went. That's how it goes. Shut up, boys. I think I don't know his mama normal, dude. It'll be too old. Right. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Okay, get right trying to find her number. Like, hello. This is my mom or my mother. <laughs> dummy, dummy, dummy. Hello. Hi, this is uh, your son, Jonathan, from the Dummies Podcast. Mm-hmm. How are you? I'm good. We're, we're, we're uh, recording. And we just called to tell you Happy Mother's Day. Happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Thank you. Thank you, my firstborn. I yeah. love you. No, it's called, I'm calling your favorite. I was just about to ask, is he, is he your favorite? He's my firstborn. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We understand what that means. Yeah. It's a setup. <laughs> that, that go, my boy. Daddy, it's, a a, it's a setup. <laughs> it's a setup, y'all. Okay? Y'all, y'all dummies out there trying to start stuff no, no, on no. Mother's Day. That's normal. Oh, okay. Yeah, what y'all doing? Gonna go to Longhorn. Oh, okay. Don't get a well done steak, please. <laughs> no, I don't. All right, all right. Enjoy your day. All right, that's a whole. That, you. That's a whole other discussion when you go talking about the the way they cook the steak. Dad, it's not Father's Day. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Hey, we definitely got to call him a father today. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. My boy. Have a long conversation with him. Hey, he, he, he still breaking up. Can't get right steak. That nigga gets so by dirt. <laughs> um, he always with my damn mama. I don't understand. That's but, not supposed to be right at that age. I don't know what that nigga was like. Who the fuck he supposed to be with? Got the, <laughs> Miss Betty down the street. <laughs> right, yeah, that nigga, who the be, fuck you supposed to hang out with? <laughs> Hey. Be like granddad. Oh man, supposed to be like granddad. Ah, yeah, but I'm st- oh, happy Mother's Day, man! Again, man, Dad, give all the mothers a round of applause, man. Get them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We definitely appreciate y'all. Um, man, shout out to Mike, man. Um, we talk Mike. about Mike a lot. Um, on our pod, man, my man came through and and blessed us with a beautiful bottle of Uncle Nearest. Mm, thank uh, you, thank you, thank you. If y'all don't know, that's a black owned whiskey brand. Um, I think they taught If I remember right They did They taught uh, that, shit, that hit you in your soul what's, my, too. what's the whiskey that Jack Daniels Jack Daniels They taught Jack Daniels Really how to brew mm. They whiskey So if y'all ever see Uncle Nearest Make sure y'all Pick up a bottle man It's a black owned whiskey brand Y'all know that's our thing up here yeah, Mike, Mike a damn kind of sore goddamn. Yeah he, 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 he bought us a gift man So we appreciate him He in the building He over there in the cut Mike. man me, uh, me Recording Dez, live with us Me him and Dez came And he was like This other whiskey I taste it had a little bacon flavor at the back of it. Like bacon, bacon flavor? Bacon, <laughs> bacon flavor. That's, that's who the, who the been imposing that bitch on a sandwich, goddamn. Put that bitch on my po' boy. He <laughs> got a little bacon flavor. I was like, goddamn, why you know all the different flavors? That nigga drinking connected. <laughs> <laughs> you leave that bitch up the hoodie, you know he gonna put that bitch on a po' boy. That's how you know nigga be kind of sewer, though. They got a little oak end to it. There you go. That's <laughs> Appreciate you, Mike, man, for coming through, man. For real. You're gonna get a couple jokes, too. Um, Science. Science is going too far, man. We've been talking about it week after week. They kept a lot of niggas from graduating high school. <laughs> right. I was almost one of them. <laughs> Shit. I almost didn't pass the, uh, what's the exit, <laughs> the exit exam? exam. Yeah, <laughs> fuck around with science. I had to put my eyes on somebody else's paper. I'm glad they didn't have Nigga, remedial. you come out that counselor uh, <laughs> room. Did college, Sad? hey, did, did UAB have remedial science? 
Probably. I know they had remedial math and English. I was in both of them. I don't think they have remedial <laughs> science. I don't think they have remedial science. I don't remember <laughs> science 091. If so, I would have been in the <laughs> Science 098. That's what it was. Math 098. That was the intro <laughs> at UAB. I was in that with all my friends. Like, Look at who the over that bitch. You don't know how to do this shit either. And that shit was hard. What's crazy was y'all nigga passed that bitch. I flunked twice. I got an A in there. <laughs> I got an A in that bitch. I only got two L's at UAB. Well, one, because it threw one out. But that was oh, math 098. God damn, I just could not do math. Math me. got you, God damn. Well, one of my homeboys failed it so many times. They changed the course number. And he was still in <laughs> 099 now. God damn it. Here you go. Pass it. Dad want that bottle. But I um, I was talking about science and how far science was going. We were talking about it uh, all the other days. But they said that false memories can be planted and then reverse research is fine. They said some researchers in Germany uh, and the UK have been able to plant false memories into subjects' heads. So, like, they can brainwash you basically to remember things that you really didn't do. Hmm. And when you come to, you really think that you did it. But then they also found a way to wipe that shit off your brain. Man, they doing too much. Shit, <laughs> shit that's what Instagram, every time my wife get on Instagram, I start being that shit again. Mm. <laughs> so, they, they, they. Shooting Instagram directly into yeah. the brain. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna put this in. That shit crazy though, man. These scientists, what? Like, how do you know to try to test that? Like, what do your mind have to be? To- I thought about that a lot. You ever thought about like, you know, like food you can and can't eat and stuff? Like, I know who I can't the? Yeah, who the first nigga that probably like? Let me see if I can eat this and then die. Like, pig? damn, we don't need to try that shit. Goddamn, pig gonna be the food of the south. Who knew to eat a pig? Goddamn, but Why? that's that. I, Ingenuity, life, you know, the motherfucker be like, don't yeah. touch that bush right there, but you can eat that bush right there. Who touched it first? What happened to that? I mean, what age did? I mean, like, <laughs> go to dead. <laughs> I forgot about that. Go to dead, <laughs> goddamn. Touch that pink flower. Go to dead, goddamn. This is how you cut up the chicken. And the crazy thing to me is, <laughs> right, don't wash it with this wash the liquid. <laughs> the crazy thing to me is, though, all snakes look like snakes. Nah, this is the poisonous pipe. Nah, nah, that was probably trial and error. That was probably trial. Yeah, and like it's certain fish and shit you can't eat. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Know. Who they, died first trying that shit? They, what if this fish mate with a tilapia? That's fake. That, those <laughs> fish we was catching up here, we that, weren't supposed to be eating. But I guess that to this study, that's what you bring people together and try shit. And that's how you out. figure that shit out. But th- will that go bad? Probably. Hey, yeah, Most of it does. It's probably some nigga <laughs> fucked up nice shit. Yeah. It always gotta go bad, right? I ain't, like, a, I ain't a billionaire no more. <laughs> Damn. We're gonna this bridge. I Baltimore, said, we're back. Look at that. Speaking of billionaires, um, Bill and Melinda Gates divorcing after 27 years. Hmm. I'm only bringing this up because of the marriage part and the 27 years being married and then decide to call it quits. That's hmm. what's crazy to me. And then Bill is old. Well, I took like, you a little minute to get that out. That was a long day to me. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> crazy to me, God damn. <laughs> That's it. Crazy to me. There you go, Dad. Yeah, you right there. I think he said that crazy. I ain't never heard a nigga add six M's. It's a word. Maybe music. But he getting better at it because he 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 did it with a straight face like a motherfucker. Oh, they ain't get it. They got it. They, got it. God damn it. they always got it. But twenty seven years, man. How you get divorced after twenty seven years? And what do you do next? What was the reason, y'all? But you know what? I think it was because he stopped working. Irreconcilable differences. But you think it's because he stopped working that he didn't like her anymore? She didn't like. He had him. to be round them up. One of them ain't like the other one. But they still was active at doing some stuff. Yeah, like but, then, but then COVID, you really in the house. He can't fly to Africa to help kids with mosquitoes. Or? Go to the other wing. The divorce rate was really, really high after after uh, quarantine and being stuck around each other. I mean, so, like sitting in the room and it's, it's just y'all. So let's respond. <laughs> let's respond to the meme. The two richest men in the world can't keep a lady. What do niggas like us do? Shit. Pray. <laughs> <laughs> Pray about it. <laughs> dummy, dummy. Wish, hope, got it. That's all you can do. <laughs> but hey, hey, look, money ain't everything. Look at Bill. Yep. Still, oh, see? Okay, let's be broken. They, um, yeah, let's be broken. <laughs> they said that he transferred her already $1.8 billion worth. He's giving it up, though. But is, is that like well, $18? No. To him? Because they said, well, they said they was going to give most of their money to charity. Anyway. Yeah, I think all they should be going to charity. Mm. Them kids don't. I mean, they get stocks, but they don't, which is worth billions. But they I, I want to mm. say he only leaving them like ten million or something like that. 
I, when you say only, but yeah, and then, then like, be a case, then though, but, it's, but, stock but then it'd be that plus shit. billions yeah. in stocks, though. Yeah, so they're gonna be billionaires regardless, yeah. yeah. And then, you know, Shares, simple shit. Yeah. his name alone gonna get them money. <laughs> yeah, I saw Flavor Flay say he, um, he want to help help her find love. Mm. <laughs> I would love to see that, fool. man. She just got 1.8 <laughs> billion in stocks, it ain't no Flavor shortage Flavor. of love, goddamn. Flavor look, Flavor. looking for her, goddamn. And she damn sure ain't gonna be on VH1 <laughs> <laughs> with Flavor Flay. <laughs> What if that's what she want to do though? What if that's why they got divorced? Hey. I want to go hang with Flavor Flav on stage. <laughs> that's some shit. That the now that be some wild shit that they'll probably try to do. Yeah, like I want to be all. I'm tired of next thing you know, you see her in Pooh Shyster video. Right, God, I just that's always want to do this. <laughs> he never would let me rap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why women after breakups go to wild shit like that though? They be doing it like you want them to do some wild shit, but as soon as they break up, they be over there with Billy, goddamn, right, goddamn. doing all the wild shit. Like, now what? I just want now to what you gonna do about this, hey, bitch? Why you do that shit with me? I, I mean, damn, <laughs> <laughs> bitch, why you want to do this shit? With me? I done bought it back up. Y'all crazy? Back. <laughs> hey, hey, but they, hey, they Instagram be Sorry entertaining. For the mm. Who? Who that? Freshly broken up with women. Oh mm. yeah. They be, doing they be trying to hide that pain. They be auditioning. <laughs> they be trying to hide that pain. They be wrongly. They be all in the wrong way. Like, that ain't what you want to see. Y'all took eight. You just took eight trips this month. God damn. Mm. Wrong um, way. Texas. Mm. Texas is allowing you to carry guns in public with no license. That's stupid. Good or bad idea. Um, very dumb idea. It's no different. Honestly, than what's already going on. Because the people who want to go get a license to carry, they're gonna go get it. and They're gonna carry. The niggas who ain't worried about no license who need a gun gonna carry. Do that shit make you uncomfortable? Yes. The, re- the reason why I'm asking because I was in Lowe's the other day and the nigga had big foul on his hip mm-hmm. walking directly behind me. I politely went down aisle yeah. thirteen, let that nigga walk past, and then I walk because like you know what I'm saying. I don't trust you. I don't know you. Like I, I see gun and I just yeah. I, don't. I told y'all about that when I was jogging in the park. The, the old man had showed up at the little kid's birthday party with a big strap on his hip. I ran around, you know, like I ain't going over there because I don't want to think that. Then, oh, he's looking at and, my and nigga then, running pow. <laughs> right, so. And then I be seeing that I be thinking the headline, like, oh yeah, uh Bill shot, shot him somebody. Park. Yeah, shot somebody at Bill, and I be shot at Lowe's for stealing paint. Then you know, you know how the story gonna go. He was messing with the kids, and Grandpa shot him. He was threatening. Yeah. Nigga, I'm trying to find my jeans. I'm sweating, nigga. What nigga. you talking about? <laughs> I'm trying to work this goddamn drinks off from last night. Alabama got a loss. I can't keep up with the shit. Don't Alabama got something similar to that though? What? You 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 don't have to have a pistol. You don't have to have a permit to care. You have to have a permit to conceal it. That's mm-hmm. just the craziest shit. That seems like the most bad. So, so I can, so I can put big chop on my chest and I'm good. You good? You good? Could walk around oh, this like a war zone. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. If you white, you're good. Yeah. You're oh no, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know the rules don't apply to me the same way. Uh-uh. If you white, yeah, you could just walk around with it. I wonder why they don't look at it as simply as that—that that you can walk around with a chop on your chest and it be okay. Why is that a good rule to have? Yeah. That right there should make y'all go against this rule, go against this law. Like, nah, we're not just about to let niggas walk nah, them niggas That's bad People for my cops. People about them guns. That's I know, what, but that's, that's bad for my cops. That's bad for everybody. Them. That's bad for the stores. That's bad for everything. Yeah, if somebody actually does it, you know how much commotion that's gonna co- cause in my store today. I ain't trying hey, to do I, that. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it was a comedian or somebody that said gun laws ain't gonna change until black people really start using, using it, which probably ain't gonna never happen. Like but that. it's a, a big ass gu- black gun club that's that's getting super popular. We talked about that I think before on this uh, episode. I can't remember their name. Whoever they are, there's it's a black gun club. They 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 rival in the, the NRA. I'm a joint. Um, but I, it's I think right now they had a hundred and some thousand or two hundred and some thousand um um members or something. But it's a, a black gun club that's trying to teach black people about uh the safety of guns, the cleaning of guns, and actually toting guns the proper way. So yeah, yeah. I, I done got every category. I just need me a uh, automatic now. It's the dude, maybe the dude you just had, they just had a movie about him from back in Malcolm X days. Hmm. Oh, uh, Franklin? <laughs> <laughs> nigga said little black dude from Snowfall. Hey, Rick Ross. <laughs> Y'all nigga just play. What's that game? Uh, gesture. What's that game where you try to guess what a nigga doing? <clears throat> National African American Gun Association. Is that it? Okay, National African American Gun Association. Yeah, shouts out to them. And they they for all people now, but it's just trying to get uh, black people more active in gun safety and gun measures. So, mm. um, 
That's good, man. That's good. And, but I don't like you said it ain't gonna never happen until black people start to take advantage of that. I don't, I don't like don't guns. That, me neither. So that's why I don't think it's gonna happen. Cause like, I, I like them for the safety and the security, but I don't like them. Like I don't like being in a room when somebody else got a gun. Yeah, just no. Like, I don't I, like that either. But yeah, I think I, I'm starting to like guns. Because because I, like I, I know a lot of um in high school I know a couple people who were shot with other because other people handling a gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, oh, we know it was loaded. We homeboy shot. And then brother. niggas always want to. It's always like that. that one dude that play too much. There ain't nothing in it. Yeah, bah. come on, man. Like chill out. I be like, I be serious about to slap somebody when that shit go like. Yeah, that. I don't even I don't like, pull like don't gun. play with. Yeah, don't, don't yeah. Pull, it pull your gun around me. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't so scared. Yeah, I like, be ready to fight. There. But you see, then you can't really fight him because he do he got, got a gun. gun. Bah. The niggas will shoot you and get mad. Get your ass out of here, goddamn! <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> um, Alabama, Alabama passed medical marijuana. Um, and the, uh, what the fuck was this? The, the legislator. What? It, what? What the fuck? Branch was legislator. Legislator, you the politic guy? Shit, I don't know. The article was fucked Somebody up. Somebody passed this shit. The Senate it's passed it, forward. right? It's moving nah, forward. but the Senate voted for a uh, twenty to nine to accept changes made uh, that the House approved earlier. Um. Governor Kay Ivey, she planned to sign it into law. So medical marijuana will now be a thing here in the state of Alabama. Cool. That's, that's a step. Dope. That's a good step. Good step. Good step. I'm going to go find me a diagnosis. I'm going to get ready to get uh, the stove front. <laughs> like like G-Boss. G-Boss getting ready for that delivery, sir. I'm going to get ready. He's going to tell you how to do it. Yeah. Let's get together, man. Let's we we need yeah. I'm gonna have CVS for weed. We can buy, right? Yeah, yeah. like come on, Uber weed. If it's legal, now only if it's legal. Who I saw uh, watching Bill Man. I saw John Boehner is now selling weed. Yeah, I saw that. He never would have thought that John Boehner. He see the money in it. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) it's a lucrative business. If it's gonna be legal, shit. You about to why be all against it? But but Alabama did say this is not gonna lead to recreational. It will. It will. Just not now. Alabama's slow, so we probably probably never thought it was gonna lead to this. Right, we still can't goddamn go gamble, but then there's lottery tickets in the in the gas station. I, I still don't get. That. I don't be I understanding don't that. that the little scratch off thing. Yeah, but thing. niggas be buying them. I don't. Know. I, would, I like. So I'm gonna build up my courage one day and ask. Like, if hey, you man, win, you, you gotta go to Georgia or some shit. Nah, it can't be Georgia. It be here. It's probably some shit like the the bingo and bingo and greyhound. The, you can't have dog, bingo no more though, right? The dog Did they machine. Shut all that down? No, the, the big dog's still at the uh, at the oh, place. Yeah, they must have opened it back. I, I remember they had some big shit going with it. Can't get right. Just told open. you a couple weeks ago. That no, he went no, to. The, but they they used to have places everywhere. But mm. now it's just at the racetrack, I believe. Okay. But it's based some type of way off some horse race. Horse race. Yeah, remember he told but us that it's a game of change. So that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, probably yeah. what the scratch yeah. ticket's probably based off a of horse race somewhere. It's some. Stupid. It's gonna be some slick shit to it. Kind of like sports betting is illegal, but you can go bet on sports. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, but. You can't hand no money. That it'd be shit. the dumbest. It'd be the dumbest. Yeah, let shit. people gamble. It's their money. Shit. Let them spend it on what they want to spend it on. Yeah. That's how I feel, too. Um, A death row inmate. Shook sure, Knight? Was executed. After, and then attorneys, four years later, came back and found DNA that belonged to somebody else. Mm-hmm. He always maintained his innocence. Uh, always said that he never committed the particular crime uh, in the Innocence Project. Came back and found that DNA on the scene matched somebody totally different. On the murder weapon. But, I mean, it, it, if they was going back to look at it, why wouldn't they ask for a stay until the until the shit came back? Um, the taste is just like killing me. Liddell Lee was his name. Was well, arrested probably, and convicted. Laws and he rules. was convicted in 1993 mm-hmm. um, for the murder of Deborah Reese. Um, they basically, somebody said that they saw him do it. You know, they, they pinpointed him, but no DNA ever matched him. Uh, he always maintained his innocence, and they executed him. And four years later, Finally. found DNA. So, what makes them do that? What makes you go four years later and look at the DNA to see if it was his or not? Well, I think is the that like family, the innocent, pro- the people, innocence or? project is a project that goes out. The I think okay. they Kim Kardashian helped mm-hmm. get some people okay. out with that and shit like that. So well, somebody brings it up. Yeah, like they they still keep fighting for that person. You know what I'm saying? Like that's their job to 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 help. Free wrong wrongfully convicted people. So that's why that and that's why I understand. But I'm highly against death and death penalties, like stuff like that. I just you know I get I'm that. against that shit. Yeah, with for that, for shit yeah. like I mean, and sometimes you can't pick and choose yeah. because if yes, before because you, you already tried no, to no, kill no, everybody. Because, what if like, they was innocent? Right. Like before they found this out, four years later, they just thought they was right the whole time. No DNA, just an eyewitness. No, 
I mean, you 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 you, you picking and choose. That's the law. It's, it's, if you get caught with this white powder, you get a year. If mm-hmm. you get caught with this white powder, you get a hundred years. No, I'm just saying they got simple murder. This guy goes to jail for murder, and he gets the death penalty. But some things is black and white, Hooter. Some and not. we don't have to go into this. Apparently, thing. they thought this was. No, they just didn't care. No, they thought it was black and white. Okay. Niggas used to get killed for looking at white women. Right? I, all in all, I don't, I don't want to fuss about it. I'm just against the, the death penalty for shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Even I understand some niggas are, are wild and crazy and you think they deserve to die. I think suffering is not dying and sitting in this liberty ass square for the next 900 million days and minutes of your life. You're going to goddamn pull your hair out. You might pull an eyeball out. <laughs> Rip your asshole out, you know. Oh, what I'm saying? Damn, sit your ass in that corner for the, the rest of your life. I, 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 I would, I would that rather got that. barbaric over that bitch. I'd rather that than a nigga go die. I right quick. don't want to pay for it. You not, you and, gonna pay for and it? And anyway. You just a pansy. You gonna pay for it anyway? <laughs> no. What you got? <laughs> I'm <me> a pansy. <laughs> A dummy, dummy. You just want everybody dead. <laughs> pay for that one. Uh, all you doing is paying for the light bill. Zip, zip. Man, if him him dying, I'm gonna pay whatever the tax. I'm gonna pay eight percent in tax, no matter what. Yeah, but that money can go to schools. But it ain't. We do say in Alabama, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> that nigga was slow as fuck trying yeah. to get that bill. Fly by. That nigga was. That nigga was halfway <laughs> goddamn in uptown by the time he swung. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> um ah shit where the fuck I love off it. Um oh Pansies. we we've been given a lot of little down news so I did want to give some up uh, lifting news. God damn. You, you stuck on dummy, you good? Dummy, dummy, dummy. Fuck yeah. Right. Is the nearest? <laughs> um Curtis Lawrence um the 3rd uh got 16 acceptance letters into major universities including Harvard and Yale uh, and he decided that he's going to take his talents to FAMU. Uh, so shouts out to uh, Curtis Lawrence, man. That's a dope store. I don't know if y'all had a chance to see it. Uh, the man is talented, and I think he, uh, no, he's only sixteen years old. That, mm-hmm. I want to make sure I add that in there. Sixteen and one point six right. million. Yeah, he got one point six million in scholarship offers, uh, and he decided to you know pass up the Ivy Leagues and everything and go to Florida uh, A and M. Mm. That's dope. That's dope. Where is he from? Did he say? I don't know. My bad. That's one of the questions. It's, it's okay. Todd, Todd probably could have answered it. He uh he wanted to go to them them <laughs> fam U Jackson State games. Mm, that's why. Cause Dion gonna be there. Yeah, yeah. Well, he did say that he he loves the culture of the HBCU experience, and he wanted to experience that and being you know a kid like that. I think he's gonna be successful whether he goes to Harvard, Princeton, or Jackson State, or or fam U. He he's gonna do that. See, he might as well go somewhere where he's gonna enjoy the experience. Do you think schools be, matter where you go? Not if you smart like that. Not in my opinion. Yeah, because the grad school you go to probably gonna be top in the country, wherever, wherever, whatever. Why you gotta? Why you gotta overpass that and go straight to the grad school? Why he can't learn something while he's there? He can, but I'm saying a, a kid that's smart probably going to grad school. Nigga, you went to grad school. Like, I get that, why but did, why saying, you want to live in here? So what if he stays there for grad school too? If he want to, okay. I thought you were saying like he's gonna leave and go somewhere else for grad school, like to. He could. You don't know what his field is. They might not offer it, Hooter. I don't know. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, Y'all been not, fighting a little bit already. Be ready to fight. No, no, no. no. I'll, I'll be just trying to get clarity on what you're saying. But but I, I would like to know, is he finishing high school early? I hope yeah, because he he's 16. He going. Oh, he going straight yeah, he, there. He's through. He he graduated. He going, um, I think, this fall. Sound like that. Why, Why not? If he oh, done. No. If you done. It's just like, like socially, like socially being, he'll be different. But uh, yeah, like sixteen to eighteen. That's but mentally, I mean, but but educationally, actually, I know somebody. That. Well, I know somebody who was sixteen going to college. I know somebody like that was at UAB. Yeah, mm-hmm. and like you say, like socially, they're gonna be. I think it kind of sometimes maybe messes them up a little bit because you're really a kid, kid, and you like, hanging around possibly well, twenty three, twenty like, four year old. That's smart. Well, I don't want to. It's not judge, always that. It's not always that. They probably gonna be in them books anyway. They ain't gonna be at the at, in La Casino with you. Who the? You never know. <laughs> he might. You never know. He's he gonna might, be a star. My head. <laughs> right. Right. He about to get that star treatment. He all over the place. Already. He got a much better chance. Nah, of, man, you're not gonna even of, know of who that is. He got a much better chance of being. I guarantee you, you're not gonna know who that is. They will. I won't. They won't. The internet. They gonna know the quarterback. They're not gonna know. Him, no, hell no, nah, because the quarterback ain't got a shot in hell of being a millionaire. <laughs> but that's so who they. Do. But on that campus, he's still a man, no matter what. Yeah, he the man. Dude. Yeah, so that, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just saying, like a lot of times, those it's just like in business. You might be sitting next to a billionaire, 
And you ain't gonna know it, but you looking at the rapper who got all the chains and, and jewelry on, because that's who they that that's what they tell you to look at. That man gonna sit up on that campus and just be chilling. I don't know. I just hope it doesn't it mess him up socially because it can. It can, it can, but even his little it doesn't have to be. He's not the first person to do that. Yeah, he's right. been a big man. Like what? One of them people like twelve all years all, old. Or all in shit. all, all in all, congratulations to that young fella. Yeah, man, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. No. And shots out the fam on 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 getting such a talent. That's and I'm pretty be dope. sure he's gonna hit these type of things. Like probably those other kids probably didn't have the chance to hear that at 16 you're gonna go to college and it's gonna be like this. Have y'all been seeing the argument that's been going back and forth again? At, you think that arguments like this will stop, but they having this argument about. Um, going to school versus not going to school, and mm-hmm. and I think where it's come, I think where it's stemming from because so long a lot of the people who did go to college kind of shitted on people who went to trades or didn't go to college, mm-hmm. and now the people who didn't go to college kind of finding their way and they're super successful, which they always were anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, and now they're kind of feeling like, oh yeah, y'all, y'all done for going to college. Look at y'all, stupid with debt, not no good job. Y'all been seeing all these arguments? I, I have, and I, I still I see it both ways. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, see it neither one is wrong. That's how if I it works like. for you. If yeah. it works for you, and in it to me, school it, really not for everybody. And it, not. I think, I think trade's not for everybody too. Like it's, it's just whatever your be, skill set I, and I, talent I ain't is. Be no motherfucking plumber, okay? Yeah, I like <laughs> to put stuff together. That shit, I can't get there. I can't do no cud shit. I would rather yeah. sit at this desk and type this shit. The only difference that I see <laughs> with it that I that I like I like people with trades they can always get paid. To you me, can, no matter what, yeah, because do they day, don't have you, to work for a company. They can go do on the odd end. and end jobs and get paid for their services because their hands are their skill set. Mm-hmm. And the downfall to that is you might not always get hired. That's that's the scary. I ain't gonna say the downfall. That's the scary part of it. Now, right. usually, I mean, because you was a history major, mm-hmm. you don't do you nothing. You might not want to stay at None home, at all. right? But it helped me get a job. Uh, you know, well, yeah, the degree helped you get the job. But mm-hmm. I'm saying, like, that, but I'm not just in history though, right? right that's right. what I'm saying. Because you was talking about you might not get a job. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you was waiting on the history job, you might be like, shit, where's that? Mm-hmm. Whereas that person with that, you know, come out of a plumbing class can go fix their neighbor plumbing and get fifteen hundred dollars. And that damn sure in the neighborhood app, they be looking for people to fix some shit. Yeah, always. <laughs> <In that> neighborhood <laughs> app, okay. Then they can look for everything in that bitch. You need a job, go to the neighborhood app. But the neighborhood app be jumping. They do, fool. I be like, that be my most notification. I'm like, like, yeah, these niggas is crazy. Who the fuck do y'all sleep? That's a raccoon on the roof. <laughs> um, who? I got a study for you. Come on. Let's study. According to a survey, 44% of millennials already have. Chronic health conditions. Chronic health, that's because they vaping. As the oldest of the millennial generation are about to enter their 40s, mm-hmm. uh, CNBC makes a lunch that middle-aged millennials, uh, they're, they're launching actually a series, I mean, and it's, it's highlighting how um, middle-aged millennials are already having severe chronic illnesses. I saw that. Um, do you, I got, so I got some questions about it, as you know. I like to know what you think about those types of things. Like, where do you think it comes from? Do you think that it comes from this generation being sensitive towards shaming and things of that nature? So they're okay with being whatever. They're okay, they're okay with being unhealthy. They're okay with smoking vapes and and things like that. Since you don't shame those type of things, they think it's okay to do anything. So the older you get, those I things think, fuck you up. I think it's technology. And then, and then also I think it probably should be like, you know, I th- you, you're getting diagnosed for it. Like, I guess... Attention deficit would be a chronic disorder that was never really uh, uh, diagnosed or either, um, what is it called? Uh, autism. You know, that might not have been diagnosed, but now it, it, it might be. So stuff like that as well. Yeah, and, and like I said, I think it's, I really think a lot of the illnesses don't really have nothing to do with us. I think it's technology. I think it's the shit that they've been putting them additives that they put in food. Like I think it's just finally Aspartame. like yeah, we, we the we the we the generation that they started doing all that bullshit to. You know what I'm saying? Like they started putting all that bullshit in there. You start hey. getting all these damn radio waves and cell phone Bluetooths and all of this stuff. Because if you look at a lot of millenn- people our age, just think about like us or women our age and stuff like that. We don't even cook like how they cook. We don't cook in that big ass white Crisco. We don't fry shit like they used to fry back then. You don't have candy yams with all the big ass oil sitting at the bottom of that bitch. Baked chicken with a pound of oil sitting in there. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't even cook like that. You know, a lot of people we are more even. The way we yeah, we eat. a lot of people our age are more even health conscious. Mm-hmm. So to me, when I see that, I just think of 
technology and the things that they've done to our food is the reason why we're like the way we are. Does that go back? That to fake that? ass meat, like Dad said. That go back to what we was talking about earlier. Sci- that scientist shit. Yeah, because Sometimes they try to. Some, that's that's where it goes bad. Wasn't Sometimes. that a couple weeks ago we was doing that study where we were saying like they trying to uh, duplicate chicken or some shit like mm-hmm. fake chicken or like yeah man like they're du- they're duplicating humans and monkeys right now. Yeah, that's just stupid. Like real life duplication of those things. That's crazy. So I I think that <laughs> to this survey, I think that's what um got a lot to do with some science is weird. The way we see those numbers. Pretty some, much. Some science is pretty goddamn weird. Fool. I mean, I get a lot of it, and a lot of it helps. Like, making this uncle nearest is a science. You know what I'm saying? Some some sciences are great, but some, you know what I'm saying, mixing humans and fucking monkeys. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> shit. They come up with all shit. Man, y'all seen uh, the gang members in Thailand or some shit? Released a thousand roaches into a business because of an unpaid that. debt. Yeah. Pay your debts, nigga. We're going to free these roaches, nigga. And we calling the health department. <laughs> right, What's man. up? Unleash the roaches. That's cra- yeah, That's a hell of a punishment, man. Where the fuck you get a thousand roaches from? Exactly. You collect them. Like, all hey, how you knew it was a thousand of them? Got a roach Who form? sat there and counted that shit? <laughs> right, good. One, two, three. <laughs> Hold on, nigga. Only a thousand. Don't go to 1,200. Don't, no, don't. No, we can't. 1,200, two These bitches yeah, precious. Yeah, we can't we recover. We're paying for. Yeah. But like, I, like, I don't even understand how you, like, who job was it to catch the roaches? A roach farm, goddamn. I don't know. Them niggas got roach farms out. That's Thailand. They sell roaches and shit. They on probably the got a spot where they just scoop them bitches up in a little cup, goddamn. Here you go. Get y'all ass in this bitch. We got a job to do tonight. Oh, that shit like Joe's apartment in that bitch. Exactly. <laughs> Come out that there. was a stupid ass. That movie. was a dumb fucking movie. <laughs> I watched it uh, multiple times though. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Damn, I forgot about that movie. Now I got to go watch it again. I watched that bitch multiple times, and I never got why. Ain't nothing time. like going back and watching one of them crazy. Like we used to have them crazy silly ass movies. Nigga had, nigga had roaches did y'all ever watch that movie, Army of Darkness? Uh uh-uh. uh. Army of Darkness. It was one of them silly ass Joe apartment type movies. Look mm-hmm. that shit up one day. It's called Army of Darkness. That shit was crazy. Silly movie. Silly movie. Uh, it wasn't silly, but Skeleton Key used to be my shit. And I still believe in voodoo and shit. Damn, I can't think of the movie, but the song is in my head, and every time the beat come on, they do this. Okay. That could be a lot of movies. What's the name of that movie, man? It was too white. Happy Feet? No. Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> <laughs> Mike knows. He know that shit. He, that when you did that, Mike said, well, Night at the Roxbury. Yeah, see, I yeah, know he knows that shit. Night at the Roxbury. That's my Dad, shit. Dad, we don't need to know the price of roaches. Like, everything on <laughs> That nigga looked up how <laughs> much roaches <laughs> cost, guys. Nigga, $50. Man, how many you get for $50? Nigga, get uh, and 95 he, and he got a question, so how much the roaches is? <laughs> yeah. God, yeah. What kind of roaches are those? <laughs> Them niggas out of stock, though. Why y'all talking? <laughs> See, ain't no roaches in stock. Do you throw it, yeah? Oh, that's a Dubai Dubaian roach. Dubia. Same thing. <laughs> Dubia. Hey, they were saying Dubai. niggas was buying everything. God yeah, damn, niggas, niggas roaches. Got niggas selling roaches. With the stimmy? <laughs> roaches with the stimmy? That's going to help me. Let me get these roaches put in my apartment. They're going to help me get some more food stamps on the first. I'm going to give you some more billion roaches. Them motherfuckers, they're resilient as fuck. Them New Orleans roaches fly um, shit. Did y'all see the lady who got... 10 years for smuggling a gun into prison. She put it in her vagina. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Saw that stupid. She ain't yeah. no good. At all. <laughs> Whole gun? What kind of gun? She? It's crazy if it's a goddamn big 350 cell. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a revo- some type of revolver. <laughs> big 350 oh, cell. That what's that cap? Uh, Judd Wade or Judd Wade? Good. Uh, what was it? Uh, Amy White. I think her name or Will it? She white. Will, Will Height. Yeah, she pled guilty cool. to sneaking a tiny four inch revolver into the Boone County Jail on February 14th. Oh, that ain't bad. Okay. That ain't okay. bad. That's average, okay. no, I guess. Normal. Small little. I don't know. <laughs> but now that's the handle, okay. The handle, the handle Are you trying to figure out? <laughs> that nigga said that's by average. How, how you know? There's <laughs> average for smuggling the gun. Oh, well, no. Well, no. He said it's average. So what is he saying average is? Yeah. What are you comparing it to? What's average? A good. <laughs> <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> dummy, dummy, dummy. Oh man, look at that. That ain't that bad. What the fuck they gonna do with that? Man, that make, shit got like metal sharp edges on it. Make you somebody mad. You can't take over the prison with that. That's a waste of your time. And then once you shoot the person and it was loaded. with that gun, then then what you gonna do? Somebody you heard gotta it. Fight him. You in prison. But somebody heard that there's cameras everywhere. You can hide it. She was just stupid. Maybe maybe they caught her and she ain't know 
Hang on, was she already arrested or was she going to like visit? She was somebody? going to visit, I think. Let's see. Hold oh. on. Uh, police, let's start right down. Police and jails failed to detect the gun, which was eventually found by authority 17 days after, was sent to jail. She was going to jail. Oh, she was, 17 sent, oh, she was sent to jail, yeah. yeah. So 17 days after she was in jail, they found that motherfucker. She, Maybe it's just, just something she do Like girls just carry around razor blades Like she just you know, That's, she, that's damn show conceal You don't need no permit for that Imagine putting a razor blade up that thing That's crazy <laughs> <laughs> This thing Ooh. always gotta go too far You said it <laughs> In their <laughs> mouth But they can control it Not in they Yeah you see them people And pull that bitch out <laughs> That's them gangs there the Female gangs oh, like that's they, some be talk, they be talking What the fuck kind of shit yeah. Damn Um how do you help a friend in need? Help. I, I want to really ask y'all, like, what they need. No, no, no. Like, you got a friend. Like, is it easy for y'all to tell y'all friend when like they tripping or they going down the wrong course or yeah? Like, but what if that friend like push back? That's okay. I told you. That's no, I'm, no, so you just one time and you done. Well, like I'm, I'm, t- no. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Like, let me paint it more. Like a serious. Let's just say that you think that what. What this friend's behavior is Or what's going on with this person Friend, family member, cousin, wife Whoever You think that what they're doing Is behavior that can lead to a downward spiral That could put them in You know, harm way They could be, you know, homeless Or they could be in, you know, on drugs Or mm-hmm. It's a serious thing Where you see that they headed for a bad path Mm-mm, Not just one time I'm tell Every time I talk to them If they still doing that same habit That it's causing those things. I'm going to tell you every time I see you. Now, if you choose to listen to it or not, that's up to you. But I'm going to tell you every time. I ain't going to let you slide with being crazy this time. And, and the next time I tell you, and I'm going to tell you every time you trip. But, you know, like, especially with men sometimes, like, it's kind of hard to tell them that because they think they know everything. I know. But all I can, like I said, and me and you knowing that, all I can do is tell you. That's up yeah. to you to how you accept it and receive it and act If you can't it. talk to your friend, that ain't your real friend. Yeah, but we do know that, in realistically, that there's sometimes it's hard to have certain conversations. It might be hard, friends. but if that's how your you, friend, you how would you handle it? it? What you mean? I, I mean, like, I'm with you. Uh, blunt, honest. Who me? Yeah, me, both of them. Me, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. You like, yeah, I know. I'm gonna tell you, like, bro, you tripping. And I'm gonna tell, but I'm gonna tell you why you tripping. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you why. And you sometimes, tripping. actually, sometimes I'm real good at like letting you say whatever you want to say, mm-hmm. and I let you go for a little that's while. Cool. Like, I might not tell you to. The first time, the time you tell me, man, I'm thinking I'm gonna uh, get me a spaceship, man. And I'm gonna make a rocket center, man, and everybody gonna drive my rocket. You, you to Elon? You. you China? <laughs> yeah, I might be quiet for a little while. <laughs> you China? You know what I'm saying? But eventually, I'm gonna probably be like, hey, man, I don't ain't the best move. Yeah, this ain't it. So I was just kind of curious, like how what you know? So let's how turn, you handle it, turn it the other way. Since I think we all figured out how we would handle it and talk about it, how would you receive it. If somebody came to you telling you that, how you gonna receive it? You gonna receive it? You gonna hear it out, or you gonna still just, be like, "Nigga, I'm right." Fuck it. It yeah, just depends. I'm right. <laughs> for, for me, like it depends. Like if you if you come to me like, "Stock, you tripping?" I'm like, "Why?" I'm gonna ask you why you think I'm tripping. And me, most things that ninety eight percent of things that I do has an explanation behind it. Mm-hmm. It might not be right, but maybe you're judging me off of what you see me doing without knowing what I'm doing. So because you have an explanation for it, even though it's not right, you going to go with it or? No, 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 I, I, What I was saying was like most things that I do, I'm doing with reason. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to explain to you my reason and then I'm going to listen to you. Because like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might be like, oh, man, stock, you tripping because it is. Mm-hmm. And then I say, well, nah, I'm doing that. Oh, okay. You, you know what I'm saying? But if you still push back, I'm like, yeah, but that's stupid because of this, this, this. I'm going to listen to you. I might not agree. And then nine times out of ten, you tripping. You know you tripping. You you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You might be going back and forth with yourself if you're tripping or not, but it's, but it that, should be some doubt. But what about that one out of ten time? Nigga be nuts. <laughs> <laughs> nuts that one out of ten right. time. That's a good percentage. One out of ten? To go nuts? To go nuts? Yeah. I mean, I to be wrong. Fair. I just I think that's yeah. fair. Well, it depends. because I feel <laughs> It depends like, on what that one, one is. Out of ten. Yeah. Nah, Your one can't be just walking out of the street. I just feel like at a certain yeah. age, there's certain shit that you're not doing. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like when we was at UAB, first walking in the dorm, or even in high school and stuff, there were certain mistakes that you could make and that'd be fine. Mm-hmm. But now you have more things tied to your mistakes. A mistake now could fuck Jordan up. It can fuck Logan up. It can fuck Jessica up. It can fuck my household up. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like a mistake now is more costly than it was when I made a mistake, even at UAB or when you know when I was in high school. Yeah. 
So that's why I'm saying like certain mistakes or, yeah, or, or certain things you can't make. That's and like you shouldn't saying, be making those. That's at. like you're saying, yeah, shit. Nigga can say whatever you want to say. Step on my shoe, my bad, my foot. Right, yeah. Prepared. I'm glad to be able to think that way now because it was time. Nigga didn't care about none of that. Right. And none of that that's shit my matter. whole point. <laughs> like that's why I say at certain ages, it's certain things that you're not going to do. It's certain things that you shouldn't be doing and certain things that I wouldn't even allow any of y'all to do. Well, I you know I can't stop y'all, but oh, I wouldn't of, I wouldn't sit there and watch y'all go on a train wreck. Yeah, yeah. like you walking down the street shooting people, like you just said. Right, <laughs> but I mean, but at what point if they just don't listen? At some point, you got to sever ways too. Like, man, I can't condone this. Just shit. when it gets out of hand, I think yeah. you know once it gets out of hand and they start to harm other. If you're not harming no one else, if you harm yourself, I'm gonna tell you every time I see you. Yeah, but if you start to harm other people, then I can't really. It's nothing else I really got to say to you after I, you know. It's and hard it, to and really if it's possible, it's gonna harm me. Like, man, nigga, I ain't in the car with you. I know what you. Um, mm-hmm. I ain't. No, nah, I ain't. I can't do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, sh- uh, stuff like that. Because I mean, that happens too. Like, all right, that's what you want to do, but shit. When the law come, they don't give a fuck who got there. Oh, I'll just ride. Yeah, because sometimes you got to remind your home, but don't get in that car right there. Yeah. <laughs> But Sometimes. if you but if you do get in that car, just this is what's gonna happen on the inside of that car, okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I was just curious that because I I know sometimes you was we curious that. Yeah, I was curious of that. You didn't say that. Yeah. I was curious that. Curious that. <laughs> dummy, dummy, dummy. <laughs> now I can take it from you. That's fine. But that nigga on the other side, I definitely can't take it for that nigga. Go buy people house. <laughs> hey man, that nigga go make groceries. Like that's I'm, okay. I just I can't. But that's what I be meaning. Oh, to we say. got a new one. A, a little something means a a, a good Some amount big. of something. Oh yeah. So little shrimp meant big shrimp. <laughs> if I say I got a little shrimp, I got like six of them. But I see your little pockets. <laughs> <laughs> little pocket, little pockets big. Boy. Little podcast. <laughs> little, little podcast. I see pockets. a little twenty six. Well, grams. you gotta add some. little ass photography business. <laughs> That's doing well. You gotta add some good to the end of it. Yeah, little ass photography business. Y'all little studio look nice. So, something like that. <laughs> That's like, hating to me, but it's I, but, not. But the way you <laughs> said it, it's not. It's not but right. Like, so if you add that extra to it, then you because that's his like, lingo. Yeah. Kind of like if your ex say, "Oh, I see you and your little girlfriend looking all good." Oh, that's no. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna add that. She's looking better all than good, you. <laughs> looking all happy. <laughs> they gonna add something to the end of it that makes it look good. You know what I'm saying? But if not, then be like, I see you look at her friend. Ha 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 ha. What the ha 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 mean, man? <laughs> Fuck you up. Trash. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, Did y'all um watch the SWV and Escape? Uh versus. 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 Mm, I did not. I saw a few comments that people say it was good. But I didn't get to seeing it. I watched it. Uh, Except for King. What was your right? takeaway? He like, they could have kept this. Well, no, not yeah, he they definitely did. said uh, <laughs> some of that nature. They, they, no, he said they only needed five songs right. or some shit like that. They could have did. They could have did a final series. Yeah, the best out of seven. <laughs> it, it was some songs I never heard before. So at that point, where were they? At that point, how far in were they? Uh, it was kind of well. When I said that, it was kind of in the beginning, like them the first ten damn, rounds. You said that at the beginning. I was first like, hey, ten hey, rounds. Hey. Goddamn! I saw I was going down. I'm like mm-hmm. fuck it. But then what they started doing was saved it. They started singing songs that they wrote. Mm. Like Candy wrote Bills, 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 and uh, SWV wrote some shit for Patty LaBelle, and mm. they started singing those. Candy wrote a lot of shit, mm. but that's why she ain't never had to fuck with them because she she getting oh, her checks God. forever. But uh, when they start singing, but they songs, yeah, they only got about five hits total, mm-hmm. and I'm giving them three. Okay, so, so how did they look? Oh, uh, they look uh, tiny, tiny look different. What that mean? I don't know. She just. <laughs> Look different. I would say that means okay, cause I think if she looked bad, you would have said this. I think that means she, she looked okay. Bad? I don't know. Just like she just minimized. Now just you? remember, T I uh, fight anybody. Just keep that in mind. That'd be another fight for you. I fucked T I. Nigga, I nigga think he can beat everybody up, and he <laughs> think he taller than everybody in the world. Right. I'm told Jamarcus Russell. That nigga. Short. That nigga six. <laughs> he ain't number goddamn five eleven. Jamarcus Russell is six four. He's not no six six. He's definitely six six. Yeah, but that's tall. I mean, nigga, yeah, he tall. But so how tall are you? I'm six four. Okay. He think everybody his height or short. Hey, yeah. Shaq, man, no, no, Shaq, me, Shaq me, ain't seven one. Me, Charles Barkley, and Jamarcus is all six four. Okay. What Charles Barkley is like six four six five. No, for real, he's six yeah, he's six. Yeah, I mean that's re- that's on record. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so is Jamarcus Russell. No, no, it's not. I've never seen on record Jamarcus Russell since the ninth tenth grade. <laughs> yeah, that nigga was six. <laughs> nigga was six two six three a freshman. Yeah. Well, he stopped growing. That ain't none of my 
Shut up, okay, girl. What but the now, hell you talking about? But now nah, it was cool versus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now nah, it was cool. That it, it can't get right versus the world, basically. <laughs> mm, facts. <laughs> Every rapper in the game got right there. Uh, yeah. So what did they look like musically? Because I saw they were performed and actually sung too. Oh, they still can sing. Okay, like all of them. I don't even know half their names. I know Candid and Tiny, but yeah, all of them can sing. So all, all of them got Latonsha or some shit like that. They yeah, got some crazy it's some names. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. some show. CIA on the internet. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Candid was the but, best though. But shit, she just got all the materials to look that way. Mm. So, which mean? You want to talk about it? Nope, I do not. I feel you. Okay, on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, J. Cole dropped Interlude. Hmm. Oh, wow. You got an album coming out. Oh, did, you, wow. did you listen to the... I know you changed the rules, so did you listen I to did. the... I did. I listened to it, and I tried to find a reason to get wild, and I didn't. Wild? Yeah, from the song. Um, Just to... You mean like all the other J. Cole fanatics? No, I think... Well, I think it was a cool... Good song, but cool I didn't think it was nothing that that amazed me as a single supposed to. Cool, be. cool, two minutes. It's not even a single. He, he I know it's an interlude. It I says know. interlude. His lazy ass literally named the interlude. What am I? I know, but when you interlude. drop it like that, you would think it's gonna be. A, there's some interludes that catch me in those two minutes and go crazy. Well, when I think interlude, I think of a short snippet of music. I get. I get it, but if you're gonna put it something before out, the song, if you put, but to me, if you put it out. Basically, as a single, it got a pop, in my opinion. I don't think that this was maybe that kind of single. I don't know what it was. Why did he put this out? Just it comes out Friday. But hey, his fans went nuts. I seen everybody posting about it, and that's, that's no different than. I'm not trying to be funny, but it's a lot of people who have like these little fan. Like I think people do that a lot with Jay Z. Did you hear what he said? Like, come on, man. It'd be like, regular. It'd be regular. Was, I mean, it was dope, but that wasn't like how y'all making. Like, mm-hmm. it was the best thing you ever heard. Maybe I'm a realistic fan because Jay Z last verse, I said, I ain't really care for it. Yeah, you wasn't here to, to bring it up last week. When me I, I mean, I told y'all. Right, right, right. That's, that's what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm things oh, okay, okay. Hey, okay. don't worry about it. Things happen, Todd. Things happen. <laughs> <laughs> dummy, dummy, dummy. So are you. The I, I, but I, I do want to hear the project. I, 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 what I, you I, think I, about it? Do you think it's going to be dope? I always like his music So yeah And I, I feel like You know being in quarantine And stuff He's a rapper rapper I think it's gonna be Even live mm-hmm. He ain't had number 10 It's been a lot It's been quarantine As well as all of the things That went on during quarantine yep. With the racial type things yep. That's what he raps about That's what he talks yep. about I think it's gonna be A lot of references And punches towards that as well Alright can't get right Your uh, turn it's gonna be cool. Shit's hey, gonna be man. trash, man. <laughs> this this the best thing he probably got on the whole album. That's why he dropped it first. You it's liked it, so trash. did you like it? It was okay. Okay. Des you don't like um J Cole? I do, but he do, but that man that man ain't made hey, a good body of work since he was sitting on the house. I like his music, man. I like his. I like. I like what he talks Lord about. Hills, what I think what he was sitting on the house. What I what he was doing on yeah. the cover. Hey, 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 hey! No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Hey, bring, bring your hand up here to the keypad. Give yourself a push dummy. that dummy. <laughs> dummy, appreciate you, baby. There you go, Apple. Apple did it. Apple. <laughs> He was on the sitting on the house on Apple. Mm-hmm. He was inside the house, so uh, Google, Google. <laughs> right on the laptop. Apple wouldn't let him in. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, Melo, Carmelo Anthony now just jumped into the top ten all time in the scoring list uh, in the NBA. One of the most prolific scorers ever, apparently, uh, because of his numbers. Uh, I always liked Melo as a scorer. I just didn't like him as a defender and a, a leader and other things. But as a pure scorer, Melo was the guy for me. Has he done the least with the most uh, out of any Which mean? NF, uh, NBA player ever? What you mean? All the talent in the world, but really did nothing with it? No. He did the least with the most. Oh, so having talent. No, like Sam Bowie's and shit like that. You know, no, he, he didn't, didn't have Sam Bowie. <laughs> Get drafted double over Michael Jordan and you did it. nothing. That was, that was just You stupid. know, like stuff like that. Uh, no, but like really could do everything. Could before like people was really doing everything. Well, I don't he birthed a lot of these players now. I don't think Melo game transitioned well to 
it, it was it's a great game. Now he can score the hell out that bitch, but mm-hmm. I just don't think it translates good in the team game. Yeah, you got to do everything else, man. I well, don't think he does I mean, everything else. I mean, that could but Jordan Earl in his career, it's the same thing. But I don't think Melo could be coached to change it. You can change his game. He still can shoot, go to the basket, and be well, feel like it. But he just didn't never wanted to. He just was a score, so yeah, you, you got to put facilitators around. I also him. think the the kind of offense that he got it stuck in kind of made him th- that way too. Cause like getting called with George Carl, he like he was all offense, like all offense. Jordan had a person who's gonna teach him defense. Nah. I always like George Carl just want to go score one hundred and thirty points. So you know, go score, go score, go score. And Carmelo went to New York. They're like, you know, you ain't gonna win. I'm gonna fuck. I'm going to New York. I'm, and I'm gonna get money. Let's go for it and go to the club after. Me, Lala. What's up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up? But nah, I, I don't agree with you on that, man. Because I do think he's done a lot with the talent that he has. Like, I mean, outside of, of winning, yeah, outside of winning, outside of winning the bigger games or playoff games, things of that nature. Yeah, and it's unfortunate that people say stuff like that because simply because you didn't win enough. I mean, but 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 also, you know, it seemed like because his refusal to play defense was maybe can be seen as a lack of effort. Well, later in his career, he played defense a lot more. He just wasn't on good teams at that point. Yeah. Don't wait till you forward to start playing defense. You learn when you That's know. crazy. Him him and uh Braun and Wade came out in the same mm-hmm. wasn't that the same draft? Yeah, that was the um class when Todd tried to uh, say, uh make an argument for the class of ninety six somebody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dummy. Dummy. Okay, Man, Kurt Kurt Harry. <laughs> Get this list out of here, Todd, please. <laughs> You know, Todd on the read. The but congratulations to Melo, man. That's a yeah, that, big that is that's dope. That, that's really dope. And how long was he out the league? Who? A year or two? Melo. Remember, he was out the league for a minute. They wouldn't At They wouldn't bring him back in. I think it was Maybe like a, 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 a partial year, I think. I don't think it was. No, it was longer was it a than a partial It was, I think, I know, I think it was at least a year. I don't know how long Melo was out the league. And, you know, Dez will look up roaches and shit, but yeah. that, there we go, Dez. How no. long was Melo? But, out but I, I want to say it was, I think it was a four year one. It might have, because. When he left in the middle of a year, it didn't come and nobody back. would give him a chance. Yeah, he didn't come back till later on that next year. And then finally, the to Blazers, Portland, believe, yeah, Portland yeah. gave him a chance. Where he at now? Portland. Uh, right? so, so, scroll down there, right there, up, 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 up. right there. The other to one. those the numbers, other. right above with the 2018, 2019. Come nope, back. Nope. <laughs> Go down, down, right there. Up, so I can see those first years, 2011 to 2017 with the Knicks, 17 to 18 with the Thunder, 18 to 19 with the Rockets. Right, right now he's in Portland. Right? After the so, Rockets, that's what. Right, so I'm saying. Oh no, never, he went to the Rockets. That's right, what it was, was never a full year. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, can't get right, Nick. <laughs> no, no, <goddamn. laughs> yeah. So it was like a majority of the season, but he never said that full year. Yeah. No, not a like a full season, but I think he left. <laughs> that's half what I was saying. One year, yeah, and then came back. Okay. Later, that yeah, this nigga just said one or two years. <laughs> right. yeah. No, no, I ain't never said it was a whole year. <laughs> Hey, I don't know. Dummy. 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 But his son look good too, though. Y'all saw his son recently? I saw his son balling. He he balling. He a bucket too. Hopefully he plays defense. Um, but he a bucket. I tell you that. And facilitate the rock. You got to facilitate too. When you know when you a score, it's good to score, but you got to also get the ball to people. Do you give West uh, Westbrook that same stuff? Since he just tied, no, that uh, boy dog. He just tied the record for the most triple doubles in the NBA. Westbrook is cold, man. Yeah, he just. But he don't get that same since he don't have that winner type. No, but he wins. wanted it, it, it. You can never say a lack of effort for him. I think Westbrook just simply the only reason he don't have a championship is simply because they fell short where they was at, mm-hmm. and he had pieces around him leave him. So what do you and say? So I, and he's not a ring chaser to me. He's just like uh my man up there in Portland, like. I'm gonna play where I'm wherever I go. I'm gonna play and I'm gonna deliver my my game. He don't have a ring because Kevin Durant nutted up mm. and then left him. So what do you was say? Up to, three one. What do you say to and, people and like? He, and he stopped making a bucket. What do you say to people like Stephen A. who super criticized Westbrook for not having a ring? Because I don't know. They put it on Westbrook. I mean, Stephen A. You trash and you just saying that. But <laughs> when you see that boy play, like the heart that he and the effort that he give any, any guard, they, they get. Ten rebounds a game. I think he had fifteen last night. I feel like uh, but t- just averaging ten rebounds a game. That's mm-hmm. effort. He ain't really supposed to be down. No, I'll go right. at point guard. Yeah, <laughs> you bringing the ball up the court and getting rebounds. Come on now. And then in today's game, Steve, man, get your week. Mm. And then in today's game, man, I think it's something to be said for somebody who not ring chaser. I don't really like that ring chaser. I don't shit. either. Um, did y'all see, man? Did y'all see the hype? Do y'all are y'all buying into the hype with Mayweather and Logan Paul? 
No, got your hat though. But no, <laughs> I ain't got a tattoo. Got your hat. That man just uh, that's just so corner to me. I was gonna ask earlier: is is, is boxing dead? It's it's definitely on a lifeline. Yeah, uh, shit's leaning. We talked about that too. Yeah, it's 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 more about entertainment now. Floyd Mayweather said, it, um, he said it also. He was like, man, why I'm gonna go fight a real fighter and have the chance of getting hurt when I could go fight a YouTube star and make more money? This like at this point, I it ain't for me. Y'all can call y'all can say whatever is doing the boxing right now. At this point, I'm looking out for my family, doing what's best for me. I'm gonna entertain them. I get it. Uh, I, I I think it's terrible for for sports, but I, unfortunately, I think I'm still gonna watch it. I'm, yeah, not I, I'm not gonna order it. I'll watch it, but I ain't yeah, order. if I, I can find it, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not ordering. No, I'm not shit. ordering it. I'm not paying my if money. Somebody replay. Like, let me know wherever you. And watch, see, so so that's the it. thing. Like <laughs> us being avid boxing fans, like we we got the Mayweather Pacquiao, we got the Mayweather and uh, uh, Carrot Top. What do you call them? Uh, Canelo. Canelo. You know what I'm saying? You, we got all those fights, but now we saying what well, Logan Paul Mayweather. We not watching that shit. We not. But is there a fight that because Canelo fought last night? Say it's supposed to be a good fight. But we we was in Russia but, to order it or watch it. Or but I blame them because they switched that shit to like a the zone, the, the the zone. Vision. yeah, and we don't know how to get it on, on and the signing. It's the, it's really the, honestly the same as pay per view. It's just probably an app or some shit. No pay per view, I can go right on all my cable stations. Order yeah, channel first one thousand. Well, yeah, technically you couldn't do that either because I had to do your shit. Well, no, that's not true. <laughs> Nigga, every fight I just put. Hey, who the come come order the fight, man? The shit won't let me order. That's probably I probably ain't paid the bills. Yeah, with that, yeah, that happened like, back yeah, in them days. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> that's what it was. Well, you, sir, you, you <laughs> we came pushed the button, home, but you passed due. Nigga, I had to run in the room and pay that bitch before. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't hit it. Don't hit it yet, who? <laughs> Don't let this nigga order shit else to so give us our past due. <laughs> That's what it was like for the party, nigga. We was, just, we was all about the party at that point. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Nigga had 300 liquor bottles. Mm-hmm. Hey, hold on, let me pay my beer real quick. But is boxing <laughs> dead? In my opinion, it's no boxes I really want to see right now. So to yeah. me, yeah. It's I want to see uh, the man that had the car wreck and. Uh, you don't even know his name. Cause my brain is to my it's CT. CT. Haney, uh, what you know the nigga that had the bad car wreck. Um, the boxer that had the bad car wreck, man, Spence, Earl Spence, and um, I forgot he had a car wreck. Yeah, I want to see him. Mm. I Fight wanna, who though? The, the other nigga that <laughs> Devin Haney, I think it might be, but but it's what we were talking about. It's so hard to it's even because name the, who you want to see. Though. Well, because the big fighters won't fight. They keep fighting like nobody. So they who's the big fighter right now though? Errol there, Spence. There are none. Errol Spence. Carrot Top. Not many people know. Canelo. Who has the Mayweathers? Where's the Ali's? Where's the Tysons? Like, it's, until you get one of them, it's going to be hard. And I think Especially with UFC becoming UFC. And, it's no boxer right now. I want to watch it 24 7. Though. It feel like people know more UFC people names than they know boxer names. Yeah. And I only watch the UFC. Right. But I, I hear more of their names yeah. more often than the boxer. I think it's promotion. Really. And I'm a bigger boxing fan. Promotion, boxing promotion is trash. I don't even know when the next but big boxing also, fight is. They also say that that's why a lot of UFC people don't get paid as much is because UFC takes a lot of money and put it into I'll promotion. Put in promotion, yeah. Rather than you know giving it back to them. So, but you're getting seen. You're still rich. You just not Floyd Mayweather rich. Mike Tyson rich. Lennox Lewis rich. Hey, I kind of agree with Floyd. Uh, I would rather he not do it. Cause after I consider him one of the best boxers ever, I'd rather him not do it. But I get his point. So right, why like why? Why it. when he? I'd rather he not do do it until I heard him out his mouth say, "Man, I could go and get this exhibition fight, make ten million dollars in three minutes. Why not?" That's true. <laughs> like what? He probably do his same workout. Yeah, like he because he never stops. He eat McDonald's, McDonald's with uh, Ocho Cinco. I think he's still at one fifty, one sixty. He's he just got that body. He's not going to ever get any bigger than that. So I ain't mad at it. Not that I hear him say it and how he presents it. I, I get it. Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence. That's That'll the be fight. A good fight. Oh, yeah. Let me go. I know that's that's going to be a great fight. I think they I, keep fight ducking wise. each other. Fight wise, I think it's great. But, but the whole thing I was saying is like, neither one of those guys are the names of a big star. Yes, they are. I and, thought, and I they, thought they're, they're not from, like as 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 a they're not don't command as much attention as Mayweather, but they are the cream of the crop when it comes they to are, boxing. Errol are. Spence and I, Terrence Crawford. I, I, I never but they need to fight. I never disagree hey, with that. Hey, they won't fight. I, I kind of think. Well, who they're saying it's not somebody that's 
You don't know the Quote, unquote, the girls want to Yeah, you come. don't know. Well, that's what I just said. We, we know I that, literally just yeah. said two seconds ago, it's nobody that commands the attention as a Mayweather. And that's what I was saying. But it's because they won't fight. If Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence was to fight, and you watch that fight, that 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 brings them more attention, and well, whoever wins that can command more attention. It does. Now nah, they need the that name the, to get it. The, the have right because the, they got the say, name. Is that the end all be all? Because the, they already got the, the name. The, the thing about Tyson and Ali, well, not Ali. Tyson, he never fought anybody. Mayweather never really fought anybody until he got to the end of their career, other than the Canelos and then the Pacquiao. Well, he did like, say, like, say he so, beat more world champions than anybody. That's what he said. But we don't know the bum. But the 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 Sugar Shane Mosley's we know we all of the, I think every fight he, he went fight. into he did but I think every fight he went into we thought he was going. I mean, because he was Mayweather, I I never thought Rod Jones was going to lose till he got his ass knocked out. We never thought Mike Tyson was going to lose till he lost. But but those was big names, big personalities at the time of the fights. Yeah. Uh, again, I, I keep saying, uh, unless you've been on the rock with boxing, I do think Terrence Crawford and. Uh, has a name in and boxing. I, I get and, and, I, and I, what I, I keep saying is again to who the point mm-hmm. they do not command the attention of Mayweather. So, I agree with that. So, but part of their problem is they're not fighting each other. I get that, but that's they're my fighting point. nobody. So their big name mixed with nobody is keeping them stagnant. And that's my point. That until you get one of those big names to meet boxing is and, dead. And that's why I was, that's what I've been saying the whole time. Like they need to fight. I don't know if that's the end. Terry Cro- Crawford, Crawford just, and Spence need to fight. Somebody got to be the interesting guy. Somebody got to do something a little different. No, uh, Wilder, Wilder, Wilder fucked that up. No, they cheated that man, man. Who, Wilder? I ain't see that. No, so I they know. cheated that man, man. That man was hitting that nigga with his real fist. Mm. They, if you go on the YouTube and see that shit, man, they, they, they cheated the fuck out of Wilder. Who was, who was hitting him, uh, Big White? Tyson White? Fury, man. You ain't see that? I ain't see it. I nigga, never saw that. Y'all ain't never seen that? Yeah. Tell Dez to type it in while he watching us. Like, if you look at that shit, the man cheated. He had to remember. You don't remember when that fight? The whole time we kept wondering why the glove was looking like that. Big, he was hitting that nigga with real a, fist. I thought that was a different fight. No, the man was, was hitting him with real fist. He looked like it. <laughs> he looked like it. You saw just now. yeah. He did a little. He like it. <laughs> yeah, man. He was hitting him with real right, fist. I, I gotta call mom's back, man, before she go party. Yeah, and, call her. We'll, let's see. She might not even answer now. I've been longer than the estimated time I gave her. They gave her time to get ready. Oh, she been put that phone down. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, honey. Hey, this is your son calling you from the dumbest podcast in the content factory. Please say anything that will incriminate you and just talk crazy, as crazy as you want to. How you doing today? You just want me to act a goddamn fool as usual, huh? Where's my goddamn mother's day gift? Hey, we gonna, the dummies going to get together. <laughs> Happy, gonna get mother's day. Happy, Happy Mother's, mother's day. day. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. So Thank we, you. We Thank was, you. We was calling you to tell what? you Happy Mother's Day, not for you to fuss at us. <laughs> but where's my gift? I got you. We got you. I got you. I got you. You know. You know. Y'all, you. y'all making money up there in the Birmingham. See, we need some money. We trying to get Lots some money. Lots of money. We need some money. But, but what you what you got going on over there right now? I'm telling. What kind of part of that is? Oh my God! It don't stop. You know how we do it. Mm-hmm. I it's try to tell you. Mother's Day extravaganza. Extravaganza. We got no chicken grits, no chicken and waffles, hash browns. Really? Um, what else? I came home the wrong what weekend. Else? Y'all, you sure did. You came home. I told you that, but no. You got to come snap people. <laughs> I had to get it done. Oh, no. I, had to, I had to get some things done. I had to get some things done. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. But, but that's go right. ahead. I just wanted to, but before we go, anything you want to say about me as being your favorite son and favorite kid? How are you my favorite son? You my only son. Oh. <laughs> Kid. What about kid, though? <laughs> You're my favorite son. You're my favorite son, and Ariel is my favorite, favorite dog. Look, oh, that go that mama else. But who is the favorite overall? Huh? But who is the favorite overall? I don't have no favorite. Jerry trying to get me in no trouble with my daughter. The lies, the lies y'all telling on, on the dummy podcast. Y'all a bunch of dummies right now. <laughs> dummy, dummy. For real. All right. well, all right, y'all trying mama. to get me. Y'all trying to get me tossed out on the Mother's Day. She will understand. She'll get it. But we just wanted to call you tell you happy Mother's Day. So I know you got a party going on. So go enjoy your party. I enjoy. love you. I love you. And have Thank a happy you. Mother's Day. You're welcome. Happy Thank Mother's you. Day. Y'all have a good one. All Thank right. you. <laughs>
Well, they got a big menu going on down there. Don't it? Boys. Chicken and waffles and shit. Shrimp and grits. I go to y'all nigga house. I get one thing: sausage, <laughs> yes. hamburger, oh, no, It wasn't like that. Chicken. But <laughs> <laughs> you had crawfish. What else? Yeah, they had was on the grill. Everything what nigga had crawfish grill. You gonna come to my house? Like he talking about our house? Like, no, I'm oh, talking. Oh, about, oh, yeah, oh. nigga, I'm not talking about his house. <laughs> I, gonna, I always eat well there. I'm oh, talking about y'all house. Oh, oh hell yeah, nigga, yeah. get a wing, goddamn. Don't have not a side in sight. Yeah, ain't about to be my mama. I ain't cooking all that shit. My mama extra. You can hear my mama extra. <laughs> Too much going on. You got any more sports shit? No, man. Okay. Moving on into the dummy of the week. Dummy. <laughs> dummy. Dummy, dummy, dummy. Dumb ass, stupid ass dummies. Um, California school district. They didn't say which ones y'all was. They protected y'all real good. Um, bring y'all dumb ass to the principal's office. Come on. Come on down. A California school district, they, again, they didn't say which one, has to apologize after they offered white students a support group following the Derek Chauvin guilty verdict. Um, Fuck they need support for? I guess they was going through some stuff. Support? No, How? they wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Damn, we can't kill black people like that? Right. Think about that shit like, <laughs> come on, y'all. He was found guilty. Come on, we, we got a hug on and love on each other. Yeah, we... <laughs> So we gotta support this this good. Comedy. The world is changing. Come on. You can't just shoot black people. You can't just kill black people for no reason anymore. That's crazy shit to think about. That a uh, school uh, offered a support group behind a guilty verdict for but, somebody who did something who was guilty, so but, heinous. But they didn't offer support group to the, the black, black kids, kids when the video came out, and right. that's why they where they at right now. Dummies. That's crazy. Y'all some evil fuckers is what y'all are. I wonder when they're going to stop being stupid. I wonder when everything going to stop being so racist. If that's going to ever happen. Never. <laughs> you know, I be wondering. America was literally built on racism. And it's I'm, not going to change. I'm moving to Norway. <laughs> they going to hate your black ass there too. <laughs> the black version of Norway. Guten Tag, whatever they say. Like, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm moving to the black version of Norway. Whatever that say. Uh-huh. Hate <laughs> it? The okay. black version of Norway. Bahamas, motherfucker. <laughs> shit. They're going to be like, you a light-skinned nigga. They, gonna, they ain't going to like me because I'm American. You can't go nowhere. Can't, we can't even go to Africa. They don't fuck, fuck with us American. there. American. God damn. Man. Now, they was inviting I Nigeria and, and some of them um, countries was inviting you over. The big money, but the little people like, you niggas. What you mean? <laughs> They want you to come. Good. They know you're going to bring something over there. Like, that's the big, I think the big wigs want that kind of stuff. I mean, we ain't talking people. about them and alienating them right now. Let's not we do that. This is about the California school district. You, up, you <laughs> stupid motherfucker. And for that, you, uh, whatever district this was, because they wouldn't give me a lot of information on that, you are the dummy of the week. Stupid <laughs> dummy, motherfucker. Dummy. Dumb dummy. ass, stupid ass, dummy. dummy ass. Um, Happy Mother's Day. They said it was a poor choice of words. Huh? They said what it was, was a poor choice of words. Like what support was? group? Yeah. So what was it? So what was the right so words? It was supposed to be a secret so I don't group. Call them. <laughs> what's the right you call words? everybody else. Call them. So man. what were the right words for that group y'all put together? KKK. Future clan members. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Future <laughs> clan members of America. <laughs> Shit, man. You gonna have a CNN show? <laughs> the, the Brotherhood, the, the Aryan Brother, whatever. Right. Y'all nuts, man. Other than that, man. Any other information or news that we forgot to uh, add in or? or or talk about women. Money don't make you happy. Look at Bill Gates and Bezos. <laughs> but you can be unhappy without it. So it need to be a balance. Yeah, just be happy. It's not the money. It can be, but you know, it's you, not you solely. You might as well the, ask them to be logical. It's not solely the money. <laughs> it's not solely the money. They could tell a woman just to be happy. So, <laughs> Todd, how you doing today? You know. Oh, uh, good. Still don't like <laughs> Joe. Dummy, dummy. Still don't like Joe. You know. And who the ask all them fucking questions? I ain't got no answers for. And and the swag been popping. The young fucked it up. And I don't communicate. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> Six whole days. <laughs> right. God damn. We do this Wednesday. Me and Stock Ben had that conversation too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we good, man. Okay. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> um, well, again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I know by the time you hear this, Mother's Day will be over, but Mother's Day is every day and we want to celebrate y'all. So thank y'all for the jobs that y'all do. Um, for taking care of families, keeping families together. And on that note, we'll be back next week like we never left because like we say every week, we never leave. You dig? You Bye. Dig. Sorry for the short episode. We busy. We got to go do stuff with the mothers. Ah. Dummy. 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 Dummy.